Helen Vale, Nelson Mandela Bay gangland. People in this area are largely unemployed. The youth here have resorted to joining gang groups to make quick cash. Young children have been used to sell drugs in their schools. Five-year-old Lucien Birtasse was the latest victim. Lucien was shot in the head last week in a gang-related incident. Birtasse family has been devastated since then. The family is, is not feeling well because this is suddenly, he was just playing with his kite in the street. Over 200 people have been killed in the northern areas in the past years. Since the beginning of this year, more than 40 lives have been lost due to gang-related incidents. Community here say enough is enough. It's not nice. It is actually heartbroken when you also have to, uh, have to bury children. Even during the night, even in the morning, you have to ask yourself which kid is next. Government has promised to intensify its stance against gangsterism in this area as more police will be deployed in this area. We've got to find a way of saturating it through deployment and continue doing other uh, activities which we have been doing as uh, it is happening now. Six men arrested for gang-related crimes are to appear in Wittenheg Magistrate Court today. Three of the accused were arrested for alleged burning of the house belonging to a suspected gang member. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.